This documentary series celebrates women who adventure their way through life. Great Strides was produced and directed by two women, who in some episodes jump into the adventures themselves. It's really, it's quite a weird experience to go into something and not know anything about it. And so you kind of get a little bit of a nervous feeling, not really sure what's going to happen or where things are going to go, or even if the people on the trip are going to are going to work well together. How are you doing? Sorry we're late. <laughs> and you, as a guide, have to sort of do a lot of winging it, um, looking at the, at the actual scenario and putting it together there, trying to cater things to them on the spot. You don't know what the weather's going to be like, or you basically don't, aren't sure of anything. That's why you need a wide range of ideas and a wide range of experiences in order to go out on a, on a trip like this. Okay. Just dump all the gear, then we're going to get oriented. Okay? Yep. Okay. Do they? Yeah, I think so, pretty oh, well. good. What a hassle. That would be, she could do like a slip knot. Perfect. This is our resident sea kayaking expert, Joe. Hey, She's a cottagist up the way. She's a master of knowledge with Georgian Bay, as well as a great <laughs> kayaker. So she's going to be running the show for the next three days. So any questions, especially with the kayaking, ask her. <laughs> Take it away, Joe. Okay, my name again, is, as John just said, is Joanna, and I'm just going to go around and get everyone, all of you guys to tell me your names because it's probably going to take me a little while for it to process it in my head. <laughs> so, uh, Greg. 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 Donna. Donna. Linda. Linda. Ilda. Gilda. Ilda. Ilda. <laughs> Andy. Andy. Philip. Philip. Rick. Rick. And this in, over here is Katie. Hi. Hi, Hi Katie. And uh, she'll be joining us for this part of the trip too. Has anybody been kayaking before? Never. No, 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 no one has, no. After we load up the boats, then uh, we'll go over some safety procedures and, uh, and we'll, get, we'll get going. Great, great. Sea kayaking is, um, is quite different than a lot of other types of quiet kayaking. The first types that were sort of around were sort of the white water and river travel and basically it was, a, it was just a way to travel around and people used to trap caribou and whatnot on their sea kayaks and it was travel up, up in the northern Canada. But it's more of a, it's more of a traveling type of idea. Um, people will travel, go from place to place. There's a lot of storage in it, and it's uh, more of an experience um, in order to see nature and the surroundings as opposed to a, a thrill or an ex uh, a big thrill experience. It's basically a way to be, to explore and uh, and see things. Not even sure if this is going to fit. <laughs> where we are, where we are on this one. So, do you want to put your finger there? Snug Harbor is right here. And that's where we are right now. So where we're going to go, we're going to start paddling out today. And we're going to paddle out this way. And we're going to paddle out. And when we reach about Franklin Island, which is right there, it's a big open. You feel like you're entering the ocean, basically. It's really, it's really neat. So we're going to paddle out that way. And we're going to see how long that takes us. And we might possibly camp here. We'll make a group decision. Everyone see, decide how tired we are, whatnot. Or if we can, our, our destination for either today or tonight or tomorrow, whichever we decide, is we're going to paddle right across this big open stretch right here to Green Island, which is right here. Absolutely gorgeous. It's sort of the traditional Georgian Bay that, that you've heard about. It's, so um, what do you say once we head out to here and you see what we've got ahead of us, we'll be able to see the island in the distance. It's a beautiful day to paddle that, and uh, you can tell me what you're thinking. And uh, does that sound good? I won't push in anything you don't want to do. and. I won't hold you back from anything you don't want to do. Sound Great. good? Yeah, we'll do that. All right. Do you, uh, do you guys want to grab a paddle? 
When you first come into a situation and you know you've got a lot of people who may or may not be experienced, you're not sure what their background is, if they've ever been in a boat before, if they haven't, you basically have to take it one step at a time. So as soon as you meet the group, you have to talk to each and every individual, find out sort of where they're coming from, if they're looking for a peaceful, serene environment or not, and then you cater that to them on the trip. You do twist it, right? Yeah. Oh, you have to you have to keep twisting. So the blade's going straight up and down. Right. Okay. And then you take the button and you twist. Camp was a big inspiration for me. Girls' summer camp. It was always an all-girls summer camp, and uh, so there you're empowered to do everything, and there's no one else to do it for you. So. As you go up through the ranks there, you get on harder and harder trips and you become a CIT. They train you how to, uh, CIT meaning counselor in training, and they train you how to, how to help people out and how to guide people and how to facilitate a group as a whole. And from there, I, I started up a kayaking program at a girl summer camp. And uh, after that, I started guiding people on trips because it was, it was sort of natural just growing up in that atmosphere where you're always taking people out, you're always dealing with big groups in, uh, in an outdoor atmosphere, sea kayaking and, and other guiding, canoe guiding as well, just sort of came naturally to me. That's it. The stern person's the back person, and the back person is going to have little rudders which we can adjust to, to the length of your legs, and I'll help you guys do that. And if you push the rudder, you push them with your feet, so if you push it to the to the one side, you're going to go that way. So if you push it to the right, you're going to go. I right. know all of the safety the procedures. I can left, teach so it. Right uh, I haven't had the experience to go out on a on a surf in the ocean, but for what we were doing in Georgian Bay, I'd be one of the more advanced people in the area because I've been in uh, a lot more rough water than than a lot of people have in that area. Other than that, um, I guess we move on to safety. These things here are called skirts. So everybody, even the guys here, get to put on their skirt. And um, the front of it is the big long part here. So basically, all you do is you step into it. And you pull it up around your waist. And they sit quite high up on your body so that you don't uh, get water in your boat. And you can tighten them with these side tightening things here. I've, got something you want I've always done outdoor stuff ever since I can remember. From the time I was a child, I've been up in a cottage scene. Uh, I've been going to camp since I was eight years old, and that always entailed a lot of uh, a lot of canoe tripping. Is is how I started paddling, canoe tripping, a lot of portaging on smaller lakes and not much of the not much of the big water. Paddled behind your seat, and what you're going to want to do is put one hand grabbing the paddle and the back of your kayak all in one and the other hand is going to grab your paddle and you're going to sit on your boat and your boat's going to be in the water. So you're going to sit on your boat, this paddle's on the land there. So I'm sitting there and I'll put one foot in and the other foot in and then you can slide right in and it really stables out the boat. I've so never been a big basketball sport. player or a big soccer yeah, player. I've always been very interested in sort of a walk in the woods <laughs> or um, hiking in the mountains the with my father. Side. It started out very, very simple. And as I, as I grew up, I, I started to get into a lot more of the, of the sea kayaking as well as canoe paddling. Very easy stuff that, that can become more technical if you want it to be, but it doesn't need to be. It was... Uh, always an outdoor aspect to, to what I like to do. There, I think I'm set. I think the seat's going to be right below it. Really? Oh. We have a unison dancing tonight. Huh? <laughs> cool. Well, what? <laughs> there you go. You're all set. Huh? Okay, thank you. <laughs>